will try this again. Um, I'm going to place an order to buy Canadian dollar. The price I'm looking to buy, 127.89. Okay? So please, uh, you got your strategy, you know what to do. Uh, for people who uh, don't have strategy, uh, you need to get it from companyi.co.uk. Okay, this is, here is the price, uh, and let me, I will adjust, 89. Okay, let's see if I'll be able to uh, fill this order. Okay, guys, I'll speak to you later. Vladimir. Okay, guys, as you can see, we in. Uh, all of you guys who decided to uh, trade a Canadian dollar, well done. 127.89, the price we purchased contract. So stay with me, uh, and we will finish this con. We will finish this trade together. I'll let you know when we're going to place stop for our position. When we're going to place uh, stop for profit when we're going to close the trade okay guys you still have by the way some people if uh, didn't manage to uh, execute the order you still have chance because it's 127.84 as you can see and it, it will move higher but at, at this point you can buy at lower level okay guys I'll speak to you later stay safe and if you want to get a strategy please do so uh, and uh, you need to go to companyi.co.uk and you need to get the strategy. Stay safe, guys. Get to work in Yeltsin's administration, where he quickly climbed the political ladder. Then, of course, he was promoted to prime minister of Russia. That's Dmitry Trenin. I am currently director of the Carnegie Moscow Center. Around this time, Yeltsin and the people around him, the so-called family, decided that Putin would become Yeltsin's successor. And then... This happened. The apartment bombings were carried out in three Russian cities, killing 293 people and injuring more than a thousand. Putin immediately accused Chechen separatists for the bombings and followed it up with action. He was credited with having a very successful military campaign against the terrorists. And it worked. After that, he became an heir apparent in the eyes of the Russian people. Three months later, Yeltsin resigned. And on his way out, a famous exchange. He was getting into the car in the Kremlin, and the last words that he addressed to Putin before getting into his car was, take good care of Russia. So Putin took over as president, and three months after that, won his first election. But just because Putin won the presidency, that didn't mean he had all the power. This is Michael McFaul. I was U.S. ambassador from 2012 to 2014. In the 1990s, there was a fire sale of all the things worth owning in Russia, and certain people the oligarchs did better than others in that fire sale, sometimes called privatization. And those people tended to be well connected with the Yeltsin regime, and they weren't Putin's friends. 
but they probably miscalculated thinking that they could easily find a way to influence him. It became impossible almost from the start. And from that very moment, there was warfare between him and the oligarchs. That's when Putin gave the oligarchs a choice. Putin's way. Some of those people from the 90s managed to figure out a new way of, of dealing with Putin and have survived. Or prison. Others could not find common vision, and so they lost their assets. Kodakovsky once was Russia's richest person worth $15 billion, but he ran afoul of President Vladimir Putin and spent a decade in prison. With domestic power consolidated, Putin focused on restoring Russia's global influence. Putin is the guy who believes in the expansionist Russian state. Georgia and Ukraine and all the other Soviet republics that split off when the Soviet Union fell apart. He still believes that they're traditional Russian satellites. A lot of his strategy is about keeping them in the orbit. But he also line, take good care of Russia. That's how he understands it. And he used annexation and invasion, as well as oil, gas, and trade to keep former Soviet republics in Russia's orbit. In 2008, Putin's two terms were up, and he decided to step down as president. Dmitry Medvedev stepped in as president, and Putin went back to prime minister. But really... Putin never left power. He pretty much continued running the country, and Medvedev was a bit of a figurehead. Has... Okay, they trade us. Uh, we're going to place a stop for uh, our trade, and I'm going to place at 127.94. It will give us five pips. In our terms, we invested 100 pounds per pip, so it will be 5 pips, 500 pounds. This is as simple as that, as you can see. Uh, okay, uh, so please um, use this strategy, place stop for your position, and then uh, wait, don't sell. Right now, if it will move higher, we will uh, slowly will move, gradually will move higher our profit. So... Uh, this way we secured, we know for sure that we will not lose anything at all. Okay, guys, stay safe. I'll speak to you later. Thiel was born in October. Okay, traders, let's move our stop even higher. 127.99 will give us 10 pips, 1,000 pounds on stop. Okay. Please move your stop for your position higher to 127.99. Okay. Stay safe made their first big splash in tech with PayPal after selling to eBay for 1.4.
Okay, guys. Position closed on Canadian dollar from 127.89 to 127.99. We have 1,000 pounds in profit. Everything comes to him who wait. Yeah. Uh, well done, guys. All of you guys who decided to follow this trade and trade with me, stay with me. Uh, well done. You made a profit. Uh, let's move on. We're still Friday, but we're still open. We're still working and plenty of other opportunities uh, right now available to trade this market. Um, uh, you can have uh, your strategy uh, from companyi.co.uk. All you have to do is just go to our website and get the strategy. Otherwise, stay with me. It's one of the ways that I really am able to Heated up, it releases any.